right now there is no experience of life. Largely you're just a bundle of thought, emotion, ideas, opinions and prejudices. Your psychological drama is being mistaken for life. You must see how people die, it's very important. If you watch people die, over eighty percent of the people on this planet, when the moment of death comes, there is no pain, there is not even fear, but you will see bewilderment on their face. Like this they go, because it's like you went to the cinema, you bought the ticket, went to the cinema, you sat there, during the trailer itself you fell asleep. And when they turn on the lights after the movie, you woke up. What? It's already over <laughs> This is how most people are dying. This is the most unfortunate way to die. Because before you open your account, it's over. Your own thought and emotion kept you so busy, you thought this is life. But when the moment of death comes, suddenly you know, the drama that you were turning on within you looked so real, but the moment lights are going off, then you know this is not it. Your psychological drama, we can all sit in the same place and each one of us can have something different going in our minds right now, yes or no? So obviously what's happening in your mind is your psychological reality, it's not existential. It has no existential basis. It is in this sense people are telling you be in the moment because there is no basis to your psychological reality. You can make up whatever you want or in other words, your creation, your petty creation has become larger than the magnificent creation of the creator. So spiritual process means you set this anomaly right you understand your psychological reality is something that you're making up. I'm not saying you should not make it up, you can, but you must be able to switch it off when you don't want. The problem is it's just on twenty-four hours, so it looks like that is the reality. It is not the reality, you're just making it up. Yes or no? The made-up world has become larger than the real world. Just to correct this is spiritual process. You understand what is real and what is made up. This means you're spiritual. If you can identify what is existentially true and what is not true, you will navigate, navigate your way through life effortlessly, isn't it? If your mind, your body takes instructions from you, being peaceful and joyful is not even an issue. Is it an issue? If your body and mind is taking instructions from you, is it an issue? Is it even a consideration? Do you… do you have to even bother about it, how to be peaceful, how to be joyful? There's no such thing. This is coming from a very unnatural situation because made-up world has become larger than the real world. What's happening on your phone has become bigger than the cosmos, isn't it? So spiritual process does not mean, is not prescribing how you should be, be whichever way you want. You like misery, do it, what's my problem? If you're enjoying misery, what is my problem? I will not tell you, be joyful. You like to be miserable, I appreciate that. But if you had a choice, would you choose misery? No. Maybe once in a way you like to read a tragedy or watch a tragedy, that is somebody else suffering, not you, isn't it <laughs> You may want to watch a tragic movie or a drama, but you don't want a tragedy in your life, isn't it so? I trust your judgment on these things. So spiritual process means that you read the user's manual, you know exactly how this works. You keep it whichever way you want, that's up to you. You like misery once in a way, you like to… you know, people like some bitter things, not just sweet things. You want to enjoy that, what is my issue? I have no issue. Enjoy it. But as long as you are choosing consciously, 
right now misery is happening compulsively, isn't it? It's not happening consciously, it is happening compulsively. Once you get into the cycle, there is no other way, it rules you. Being human means just this, that you can consciously decide what is the nature of your experience right now. That means being human. Being in a state of compulsive reaction means lack of evolution, yes or no? This is the animal nature, they can't help it. They have to be in a compulsive state of reaction, that's the only way they can exist. That is their nature right now. Being human means everything that animals do, you also do. They eat, you eat, they sleep, you sleep, they reproduce, you reproduce, they die, you die. Only thing is, we can conduct the same things that they do compulsively, we can do it consciously, that's the big difference, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. If you do not exercise that one thing, that you can conduct yourself consciously, it is a backward step in the evolutionary process. So spiritual process means a forward step in the evolutionary process. That means everything is conscious for you. Nothing is unconscious. The very way you sit, stand, breathe, everything has become conscious for you. Once it's conscious, you will conduct it the way you want. Right now the only and only source of misery is life is not happening the way you think it should happen. Is there any other source? Huh? No. It's not happening the way you think it should happen. If your mind thinks the way you want, if your body functions the way you want, life is happening the way you want. That's spiritual process. <laughs>